Kentucky Sports Radio took its show on the road today to Fort Thomas in northern Kentucky to continue the celebration of life for former UK football star Jared Lorenzen in his hometown. Michael Burke has more on this morning's show. He was always constructive criticism, always trying to be successful. Two sides to Jared Lorenzen. There was the personal side. Yeah, I love the guy. I mean, he he meant a lot to us, and he was the kind of person who he was the kind of person that would g go to you and say, how are you doing? And of course, there was the football side of Jared Lorenzen. If you were in a duel and you had a gun and he had a football, he was in an advantage because he just, uh, you know, he, was ju he just had an absolute cannon. At his difficult health times, he could still throw the ball 60 yards. I mean, he was, he was an unbelievable athlete. KSR moved some things around with its statewide summer radio tour because they wanted to bring the show to Jared's Highlands High School alma mater to pay tribute to someone who's been a true friend of this program. Jared was great with us. He's going to be impossible to replace. Honestly, I can't even imagine doing another football season without him out there with us for those pregame shows. And it's not just pregame shows. Many things will be difficult for so many people with Jared no longer in their lives. We'd be out having dinner, and I'm like, wow, I'm with Jared Lorenzen. And over time, we became very close, uh, you know, just shooting text messages back and forth about what's happening in football. Came very close over the years and just really going to miss that guy. One of our players, Mitch Meyer, was talking about him and how nice he was when Mitch was just a little kid in the town. A town in northern Kentucky that loved both sides of Jared Lorenzen. Statewide admiration came once he was at UK. So much so that a memorial fund for the kids he leaves behind generated $16,000 in its first hour. The goal is to try to give back for what he's done for us. In Campbell County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.